I'm Rhoda, welcome to my channel. Today's workout is a HIT workout, high intensity interval training, but low impact cardio, so we won't have any high impact in this workout. You'll burn fat, increase your metabolism, and protect your joints. If that's the type of workout that appeals to you, please subscribe to my channel. There's never a cost to subscribe, and you help me keep your fitness free on YouTube. Are you ready? Let's go. Warm up. I want you to swing your arms, knees up. I want to get your blood flowing to your muscles before we put them through this workout. Knees up in front, twist. I want you to have water handy. We're going to work hard, keep hydrated. Bring your heels up and back. Stretch out the front of the legs. We're going to start there. Good. Okay. Kicking out, reaching out, back of the legs. Stretch them out. And let's bring the arms forward and back. Chest and back. Warm it up. We are going to start with a lateral walking squat to a cross punch. Sounds complicated. Really, it's not. We're going to come down in a squat as deep as you can go. One, two, three, punch. Okay, we'll go to your right first. Here we go. Left, two, three, punch. One, two. I do know my right from left. Sometimes I get it wrong when I'm doing it backwards in a mirror image here. Walk it out. 40 seconds. You need a rest. Take a rest. We're just starting out. You might need a rest before the 40 seconds is up. Before you know it, you're going to be working through the whole workout. Keep going. Come on. One more. Punch. Two more. There it is. Okay, we have long rests here. We have 20 second rest. The reason being, we want our heart rate to come down before we go into that next exercise. We want to get it up, then let it come down, bring it back up again with the next high interval. So, next up, we have hamstring curls to the back. I want you to do the arms forward and back like we did in warm up. Here we go. Forward, back, heels up and back. Abs are tight. Keep breathing. Now, even though we don't have equipment, we are working these muscles. Working against gravity, which is resistance in itself. Keep going, come on. And rest, nice job. Okay. Work in the glute. We're going to step forward. As you step forward, you're going to lift your heel up. So keep the foot flexed. Heel up. As you do that, you're going to reach up. So it's step, reach, walk it back. Step, reach, walk it back. Get ready. Here we go. On the clock. Step it out. Step, reach. Step, reach. Squeeze the glute. Squeezing it, contracting it. You're working it.
back and chest. Punch it out. By controlling this move, you're contracting those muscles. You're working them. Come on. Three, are you ready to be done with this one? This one's a little fun, I think. And rest, good job. Okay, going on to a side lunge. We are going to step out to your right. See, I got the right correct there. We're going out in the lunge, so that the leg that you step out on bends. The other leg is straight. As you come in, we're gonna come in, push up with a knee crunch, right there. Ready? Here we go, step it out. So it's down, in, push it up. Lunge. Bring it in, crunch it, push. When that knee comes up right here, pull those abs tight, make them work. So a lot happening here, which means heart rate's gonna go up, which is your bonus. We're working muscles, increasing nicely muscles, burning fat. During the workout, I should say, and after the workout, because when you exercise, you have what's called an afterburn. You work hard now, that burn is gonna follow you through your day. There you go, rest. I'm gonna go to the other side. You'll burn a little more all day long, especially the first couple hours after the workout, and especially if you give it all you got right here, okay? So all you've got, we're gonna step out the other direction, go on in, inside arm punches up with the inside knee, okay? Here it is, step it out. Over, in, punch it up. I like to reach. Now I'm keeping my back nice and flat though, and my head is aligned with my shoulders. I'm not bending my neck to look down at my feet. I'm actually looking about four feet out in front. That's keeping my neck nice and straight while I do this. Tight, remember? You're working them. Work that core. Good. All right. Catch your breath. You might be feeling those inner thighs a little bit. You can stretch them out in between here during our rest. We're moving on to a kick and punch. So we're going to punch with your right arm, kick with your left leg, alternating. So we'll start there and we go to the other side. Again, power and control. That's going to work the muscles. Here we go. Punch, punch, just like that. So I don't want the arms flailing out and the legs just going. It's a power punch. Punch it. Good. Feel it. Abs are tight. Core is working. You have upper and lower body going at the same time like this. Can't not use your core. Often I hear, well, from my clients, really want to work my abs. And I'll say, you just did. Because we just did combination moves, upper and lower body. And that core was engaged the entire time. So feel it, make it work. And rest, good job. Whew. Deep breath. Okay, so going to a swimming move, a breaststroke, I call it. We're gonna come up on our toes. As we do, we reach up like you're doing a breaststroke. Up, then pull down into a chair squat, okay? Hands are right here. Go as deep as you can in the squat and down. Knees hurt, you're gonna stay higher, right there. Up, down. Find where you can do this move without any pain. As you come down here, weight in your heels. Think about rocking out of your toes into your heels. So your toes, heels, toes, heels, just like that. Stay with me, this is a tough one. Feel it? the calves, the lower part of the leg, working hard, and us, nice job, all right, stepping into a lunge now, so we're going to stay in a stationary lunge, leg is back, leg is forward, shoulders are over those hips, they don't go forward, back knee does the work, it's going to bend you down as you come up, I want you to push up if you can, lift your rear leg, okay, ready, here we go, down, up and lift, you're just starting out, down, right here. Take the lift out, do the lunge. 
If these bother you, you're doing a little one and up. Little one, up. Otherwise, take the lunge down, up, down, up. Oh, I'm losing my balance a little bit. The balance move. Working the legs, working the shoulders, and working the core, right? And nice rest, okay. Gonna go with the other leg forward. Now one side's gonna feel easier than the other usually. All right, so the leg is forward. Remember, don't lean into this. Shoulders stay back, even as we come into that front foot with the raised leg. Deep breath. Here we go. Lunge it down, push it up. A little lunge, lift. A little lunge, lift, or just do the lunge. Weight is in my front heel as I stand, right here. Keep that weight out of your toe. It's gonna help with balance. It's also gonna protect your knee. And here we up and above them. Whew. Heart rate is up, good job. Okay, we're gonna create a breeze because maybe we need it at this point. I'm gonna do some skaters. They're fun, I enjoy them. We're gonna step to your right first. Swing your arms, just like that. So we've got a little bit of swimming and skating represented here today. Here we go. We're gonna play soccer in a little while. Get some bicycles, like being a kid. Get low if you can. When these bother you, you're up here. Just take the bend out. Keep moving. That's the key. You want to move. Your body wants to move. Sometimes your brain is slow on the uptake of that. It's like to do just about anything else but exercise, right? But once you get moving, it feels pretty good. And rest. Good. All right. Time for soccer. We're going to Walk laterally, one, two, three, soccer kick, okay? So soccer kick is soccer ball hitting inside the foot right here. Keep your foot flexed and bring it up in front. Boom, just like that. Ready, three, two, one. Walk it out, one, two, three, and kick. Abs tight, feel them? I stretch on the glutes, inner thigh work here. Keep going, come on. And breaths, good. Okay, deep breaths, remember, water. Going to some heel digs in front. So nice heel dig, flexed foot. And at the same time, we're gonna push and pull. When you pull, really squeeze the back. Make it work. Okay? Ready? Deep breath. Right leg. Here we go. Push. Now I'm going in a little bit of a single legged squat here. Just adding an element. You can stay up here or add that squat. Just a little more muscle work. The more muscles we work, the more oxygen they need. So what happens? Heavy breathing, heart rate goes up. Heart is pumping blood with oxygen to the muscles. That's their fuel. Make them ask for it. We gotta work them. Good. Whoo, how you doing? You okay? Would you be happy to know you were halfway through? You're over halfway through. Okay, we're going to a low jack with some variations on the arm. We're gonna go out, in, up. So it's out, up, arms stay straight. Deep breath, right leg out first, arms out to the side first. Here we go, out, up. Are 
How you feeling? You feeling good? Feeling accomplished and challenged, I hope. Boxing. We're going to make an X, but we're going to have a line in the middle. So we're going to go up, up, across, across, down, down, and back up. Start with your right arm. Catch your breath. On the clock. Ready? Punch it out. Punch, punch. Now, power, power. Down, down. So we punch and twist, punch and twist, 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 and punch it, punch it. Down and up, across, back down. We might get one more punch up on each side, maybe across, almost. Good, there we go. Get your breath. Moving on to a bicycle crunch to a kick. So we're gonna crunch, kick. So it's a twist. Crunching across, same leg crunches, then it kicks, reach for the toe. Deep breath. Here we go. On the clock, twist, twist, kick, twist, kick. Now I like to punch here. That's my kickboxing training showing up. Also keep like I'm powerful. So we are, right? Ready? Here we go. Cross punch, like we did. Side kick. Punch, kick. Now this side kick doesn't have to be high. You can come up high if you want. It can be tap on the floor. You're just starting out. Or somewhere in between, right there. Just activate those muscles. I like to throw a side punch here. Boom. Helps me with balance. But you do whatever you want with this other arm here. Abs are tight. That's going to help with the balance on the one leg as that leg kicks to the side. And rest, good, 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 good. Ready to go to the other side? You are getting there, you're almost done. Ready? Catch your breath, 10 seconds. Chance to kind of let that heart rate come down, that's what we want, it's going up, down, up, down. I was at one. 21 and now I'm down at 109. That's what we want. Ready? Punch, punch, kick. Heart rates are going to be different. I should add this. Depending on your fitness level, you're just starting out. Your heart is going to work super hard, but you're training it. You're training it to be stronger. So every beat is more efficient the stronger your heart gets. And that's a good thing. If you have an efficient heart, just like if you had an efficient car, right? It's going to last. That's the goal. After this, we're going to your mat, okay? So grab a drink of water before we go down there if you need to. Got variations on these work, on these, uh, excuse me, exercises. We're gonna start with a push-up to a shoulder tap. Now you can do this on your toes or on your knees. You want your arms right under your shoulders, abs tight. All the way down and up if you can. Tap, tap. Now if you can do this up on your toes, good for you. You go ahead and do that, super hard. Only do it if your shoulders are strong and you don't have any impairments there. 
I happen to have a rebuilt left shoulder. Unfortunately, I will never do push-ups on my toes again, but that's not gonna stop me. I'm gonna modify and still get this chest work. Okay, flipping on over. You're gonna feel like a fish out of water here at the end. We're gonna flip back and forth. We are onto our bicycles. So, knee, knee, shoulder to knee, not elbows. Keep the elbow back, shoulder to knee. That's your beginner level. Otherwise, feet up, kick out, you can kick higher. It's a little less strenuous on your back. Right here. Think about keeping your eyes towards your ceiling. That's gonna keep your chin off your chest and keep that neck nice and straight, even with your spine. You don't wanna put pull, pull on the neck and make it go in positions it really isn't too happy going in. You feel the burn here. Come on. And rest. Great job. Okay. Flipping back over. Remember, if you're out of water, flip flop. We're going back up to a high plank. Just like we did for those push ups, we're going to stay up there. And you can do this on your knees right here. Tap out. Tap out. Make sure the leg straightens as you tap, though. You want to feel the outer glute work, or you're going to come up with me. Ready? Tap. Tap. Now, think about this. I want you to be nice and flat. If you need to be up like this, I would rather you be on your knees. You're going to get more core and more glutes than having your bum up in the air making a mountain. Do breathe, okay? Focus on breathing. And we do these isometric holds on our abs. There's a tendency to want to hold your breath. Feel it. Feel it. Almost there, and rest. Good, roll out the shoulders. You might be feeling those tomorrow. We're gonna flip back over. Got a full body crunch. So hands behind the head, support your neck. They're a basket, do not pull on this neck. Keep your eyes up, your knees up. Now bring your shoulders to your knees. Crunch and back, pull it in, abs tight. If you wanna add a kick here, and you're more advanced, Go ahead, up high is a little easier. Down low, I can't do right now. I'm working on nursing a, a back. So I'm only gonna kick a little high here. If you have any back injuries, I would say stay right here. Just make sure you're pulling those abs tight, pulling the knees to the shoulder. You wanna feel like you're going by a mirror. Suck it in, right? So we do, we go by mirrors. Add the kick if you can. And rest, okay. So follow me with this next one. This is a tricky one. First time I saw this move, I don't know, 30 years ago, I said, you gotta be kidding me. But it works, and each time you'll get better. I want you to lay down, top arm, plant the arm, fingers towards your head. Other arm, wraps around your tummy. Push, push up, slowly lower. Now this is hard, I know it. And you may only get a few, and that's okay cool part about this move, I use this with my clients, and when, they, when I tell them, they're like, ugh, but each time they're like, wow, I did more than I did last time. Well, yes, that's what exercise does. The more you do it, the better you get. Anything worth doing requires practice. You should feel that back of the arm. If you put your hand right there, you can feel that muscle work up and down. And rest, nice. Feel it? Burning, right? Bring it around. Had to put these in here because this is the best way, body weight wise, to get these triceps and we wanna get the triceps. So, arm, lay yourself down, hand, fingers towards your head, other hand, wraps around your waist. Get ready and push, here we go. Push it up, slowly lower. That slowing, the slow lower right here, it's called the eccentric part of the move. That's as important, especially if you're female, to developing lean, pretty muscles, okay? 
men are more interested in bulking, right? So this part, the push, is the part for them. But for us, you're female, it's up and nice slow resistance down. Okay, feel that burn? It's burning, I know. Okay, we are headed to a forearm plank. So you're gonna hold your hands like this, okay? If you wanna make this more difficult, you can bring the hands apart. It makes it more challenging. You can do this on your knees, right here. Just roll into this, abs tight, or up on your toes. If your feet are together, it's a little more difficult than wide. If you're more advanced, you can do one foot, count to 20, switch to your other foot. Again, not this. If you are up like this, bring those knees down, get those abs working, okay? Only be up on your toes if you can be nice and flat. And what do you need to do? Yeah, we need to breathe. Don't hold your breath. Breathe with me. I know it's burning, it should be. We're almost there. Count it with me, there it is. Woo! Congratulations, you made it. While we're here, let's just pop ourselves up on our forearms, lift your neck up out of your shoulders, let the abs relax. Couple deep breaths. Come on up to your hands and knees. We're gonna round the back, rounding across the shoulder blades and rounding from the tailbone up to the neck. This is the time I let you drop your neck here. Let gravity pull on your head. Go ahead and flatten your back. Bring your knees together and your toes, uh, knees out, I'm sorry, toes together. Rock back. Find where this feels good. As you're in this stretch, you're gonna get deeper. Just let your body relax and it will go deeper into the stretch. Once you're here, Bringing your hands behind your head and get a little bit of pull on the back of your arms by putting your body weight into your elbows. And hands back down, walk them in. Come on around, have a seat. That's a real short stretch. If you have more time, take it to do some more stretching. Twist across your knee. And then let's twist the other way. Take a deep breath. As you exhale, round your back, drop your head. And bring your head up. Big smile, you made it. Thank you for joining me.